Dear Me Dear Me at age one, you will never again have the appreciation for the live lobsters they keep in New York Chinese restaurants that you do now. Cherish this time in your life. Enjoy the landlord's dog, probably to an extent that the dog finds exhausting. Honestly, I don't have a lot of advice for you. You're a baby. You do you. Dear me at age five, that picture of you that mom took of you running around in front of the Christmas tree with your pants off is going to mortify you in 20 years, but points for enthusiasm. Dear me at age eight, you will have video games one day. <laughs> As a matter of fact, people will actually spend their Fridays watching you play them for reasons that will continue to baffle but gratify you. Mom is right not to let you have them right now. You've got a bit of an obsessive personality, and it's a good thing that she's forcing you to look around as much as possible. Enjoy the world. Don't get too cynical because you can't get past Pallet Town on other people's Game Boys. The kibosh on karate lessons is a bit more of a bummer, but one day you'll be at least a judo yellow belt, so patience. Dear me at age 10. No, you still don't have a dog. But you will one day, and she'll be great, and you'll love her. And honestly, you probably won't be as great as you think you will be at taking care of her. But you'll give it a damn good try. Also, yes, it is really weird that watching Apollo 13 made you want to become an astronaut. But yes, you are serious, and you'll never fully lose that dream. And when you get close to finishing your software engineering master's degree at age 25, it'll still be in the back of your mind. Perhaps most importantly, that book Dad handed you at the library about Star Trek? That book is going to change your life, bringing you into sci-fi, and from there, into online communities, huge new circles of friends, and ultimately web development and computer programming. Go after it like a terrier. You may feel silly about your obsessions right now, but one day you will call it fandom, and it will be an integral part of everything you do, particularly online. There's nothing wrong with being exuberantly excited about something. Dear me at age 14, your best friend from middle school stopped wanting to hang out with you, and that is going to hurt a hell of a lot for a long time. Ten years later, it's still going to resonate with your fear of losing people. But you'll get over it, slowly, and you'll meet other cool people, and most importantly, it isn't your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. People grow apart, and it's a natural part of life, and this is something that's always going to be difficult to accept, especially as the internet becomes more and more powerful. But you can do it. I have faith in you. Dear me at age 16, that cooperative RP writing community that you just joined is a very important creative outlet and should be treated as such. Over the next few years, you'll see your writing abilities grow leaps and bounds because of the online writing you do with other people who share your enthusiasm. Over the next 10 years, you'll find it easy to feel sheepish when trying to explain it to other people, but you shouldn't. Having an outlet for your creative energy is extremely important and always will be, no matter what you do with your career. Dear me at age 18, you're about to graduate and your parents are driving you crazy. Please know that while this is completely normal, your parents are both fantastic people and have their own stresses going on that you probably aren't privy to. You're sort of aware of this right now, but you will respect and miss them tremendously when you stop seeing them every day. Please don't take them for granted. And your little brother is going to grow up to be an economics major. I have no good explanation for this, but he's very good at it, so please encourage him. Dear me at age 20, I wish I could say that I know you did college really well, but you didn't really. You probably know this too. You should be getting out more, doing more things, seeing more people, taking advantage of the freedom that the setting offers, but you're not. What you're feeling is called depression. Clinically, it's a mix of obsessive compulsive and generalized anxiety disorders. You don't realize that right now, and maybe you don't even want to put a name to it right now. No rush. But one day you'll find out, and it will get better. I promise. You're also learning a lot more about programming and doing it all on your own, but I hate to tell you that the things that you're learning right now are not really going to be the ultimate course of your career. What is important is that you're learning how to learn on your own time and on your own initiative, and that will serve you all your life. Dear me at age 23, you're living on your own now. You have a cat and a full-time job? You did it sort of, but it hasn't fixed everything that's going on in your head. You're sad, and you don't have a good reason why, especially because you feel absurdly lucky with the circumstances that you've got going on right now, and you're ashamed of it and afraid of reaching out. Please believe me when I tell you that you're right to want to get help. You're not alone. You can lean on the wonderful friends that you have around you who are supportive and will listen to you when you tell them what you're feeling. And when you finally go out to see a specialist, you'll be absolutely terrified, but it will be worth it. And they will give you help that will give you some breathing room and let you get control of your own life again. This is the low point. It's going to get better from here. Dear me at age 25, six months ago. You probably don't entirely believe it, but the new organizational lists you're keeping for yourself really are working. You've lost 10 pounds in the last three months and are exercising regularly with an intention to return to judo. You're learning to draw. You have cool friends. Still no dates, but you're poking at that a bit now. You're almost done with your master's. You're fairly popular in a little niche of the internet that you've carved out for yourself, and you just got a new job doing hardcore software development on an engineering cause that really matters. You've come a long way, particularly in the last two years. You say you're proud of who you are, and really mean it for the first time in a long while. You're perhaps just learning this now, in truth, but you have, and have always had, the capacity to make yourself a better person every single day. And things are not perfect, but they're getting better. And they'll continue to get better.
Thank you.